Hey everyone, I'm in Elden Ring. Here I want to give you a quick explanation of arrows and the options that they um, come with as you go through the game. So as you go through the game, you will find occasionally merchants such as this chap. And you can purchase things like armorers cookbooks and other cookbooks and they will unlock additional types of arrows and other things that you can craft. Uh, I will be on my way. Um, that one in particular, he unlocks firebone arrows for you, which are quite a powerful one for doing fire damage. Um, however, when you look in your item crafting, as you're going to craft arrows, I'm hitting um, RB to go across to arrows, uh, you can see the components required, but it doesn't tell you the stats of these arrows. You have to craft them first to get an idea. But to give you some idea, you can have bone arrows, bone arrow fletched, uh, magic bone arrows, fire bone arrows, rock bone arrows, blood bone arrows, so many different types of arrows. And then uh, also the same sort of thing for bolts if you're gonna be using a crossbow. Um, this particular guy that I will just show you here, he's located on the coast. Uh, there's the Church of Ella. And if you go down here, work your way down the beach, come around, you'll find him here. You can also buy a short bow from him as well as this cookbook. Um, if you haven't unlocked crafting, you do that at the Church of Ella from Merchant Cali. Um, the other thing I wanted to talk about is once you've crafted those arrows, if you look in your equipment, sorry, not your equipment, in your inventory, go find your arrow section with RB. Uh, then you can see the difference in attack power with these different arrows. So one option is just to buy ordinary arrows. And you can see they've got 45 physical damage against a bone arrow, which has 35. So buying the arrows uh, are more effective than actually using your own. And of course, you don't have to go and find the ingredients. However, they cost, these ones cost 20 runes each. These ones are effectively free because you just hunt for beast bones and also flight pinions, but they're not quite as powerful. So if you've got the runes, buy the actual arrows. Um, in terms of fire bone arrows, these are the ones that we can make after we've got the crafting here, 10 and 90. Uh, against 15 and 95 so a slight perk with the actual purchased arrows as, as opposed to the firebone arrows um, when you get the cookbook when you look in your item crafting it'll tell you how to make them um, so these ones here uh, need thin beast bones flight pinions and smoldering butterflies smoldering butterflies you'll find by fires and certain regions of the game uh, if i hadn't already collected them there are some normally floating above this chap's um, location here down on the coast. Um, you'll also find some of them floating around in gate front ruins by the fires that the soldiers are sitting around. So you'll see them fl fluttering above this fire and you can collect them there. Um, in terms of thin beast bones, if you look just south of Stormhill Shack, there's a lovely field here full of little beasties that you can hunt very, very easy. And you get loads of thin beast bones. And for flight pinions, if you hunt the birds that are on here, if you sneak using your left stick button, so press that so your character will go into crouch, you should be able to move up to them. You can target onto them by hitting the R3 button, your right stick button, and then whack them with your sword with right button. So it's a quick attack and you should be able to take one out fairly easily. So you'll find them all the way along there. Also on the beach, so there's some sitting on the ruin that is here, and also some that are sitting off over here that are easy to attack as well. Uh, and then you've got all the components you need for your arrows. That's it really, in terms of the other things that you get, um, uh, you'll unlock other ones and you'll see they'll need different ingredients for example magic bone arrows need glintstone firefly which you'll find in Lu Lu luernia lake uh, later in the game um, so they do magic damage as opposed to fire damage and then you've got these other ones that will do other damage as well so that's it really you'll also need a bow a short bow here the best bow though is the horn bow uh, which you can find in the siofra river uh, i've got a separate video on that if you're interested in it looks like this looks pretty cool um, so if we just uh, have a little look, there's a fire arrow firing out for you. We just, whoops, do another one here. Um, they look like this. Oh no, that's a normal arrow, and there's a fire arrow. Pretty cool, huh? I hope that was useful. If it was, thumbs up, please. Much appreciated. Any comments, welcome. And I'll see you again in another video. If you like this sort of stuff, have a little look at the rest of my channel. I've got loads of tutorials on Elden Ring, adding more all the time. Hit that subscribe button to support me. Would be much appreciated. Thank you so.